Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to our webinar where we will discuss our cost effective self coloring Teleron GP35 white solution. I'm Gabriela de Govea, the commercial product manager for ABS, and presenting with me today will be Oliver Carstensen, our technical product manager, and Bodo Weikart, our technical account manager. Please note that this webinar will be recorded for later viewing and you will also have the opportunity to ask questions at any time. On the top right hand corner of your screen, you will notice a small speech bubble icon with the letters Q&A where you can type your question at any point of the presentation. All questions are anonymous and will be answered at the end of the webinar. This presentation will last around 20 minutes following this agenda. First, we will start with the background of Inyo Star Revolution, and then we will follow with the, the Teleron GP35 white concept. Then we will give some detail on the liquid master batch dosing, and then we'll dive into the commercial benefits, performance, and applications of Teleron GP35 white. And finally, we will end with the regulatory and sustainability topics. Okay, so let's begin with who Inyo Star Revolution is. A relatively young company founded only in 2011, but holding more than 90 years of experience. We are the global leader in Styrenix with 16 production sites in nine countries, and we have a very strong focus on R&D as well with five dedicated R&D centers and approximately 1000 patents. With over 2000 applications across several industries, such as construction, toys, sports and leisure, household and electronics, to name a few, we are able to, to serve a broad range of customers with various requirements. We have several well-established sites in Asia and America, but for the purpose of, the, of this webinar, we'll zoom into Europe. We have Styrene Monomer, ABS, Polystyrene and SBC production in Antwerp, and ABS and Polystyrene in Vang, France. Our specialties ABS, compounding, ASA or SAN, A AMSAN and SMMA activities are in Cologne, Schwarzheide and Lud Ludwigshafen. Our experience and large scale production have led us to become the global leaders in polystyrene and specialties and number one in the EMEA region for ABS standards, of which Teleron White forms part. Now let's take a look at the milestones that have led us in your star revolution to become the, become the global leader with a commitment to be the best in class with a strong focus in sustainability. In 2011, in your star revolution was established. In 2015, the first annual sustainability report was published with a silver rating from Ecovadis following the next year. 2017, saw the acquisition of our K resin business and then followed the ABS ASA debottlenecking necking projects in the Americas. 2019 was an important milestone in proving the recyclability of polystyrene through depolymerization. Later that year was the acquisition of our Ningbo and Foshan polystyrene plants in China. Thereafter, we had the launch of our Echo product range and between 2020 and 2021, we had our new Bayport ASA plant in Texas, as well as the investment in a world scale ABS plant in Ningbo, China. Later in 2021, we received our second platinum rating from Ecovadis. And then finally, 2022 saw the startup of our new ABS production line in Vang. It is clear that throughout Inyos's um, journey, there has been a clear strong commitment to sustainability. And on this, we currently have three principal pillars. One, through innovation, we aim to save 1 million tons of CO2 emissions in 2030 and achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Two, with recycling, we aim to sell 500 KT of eco products in 2030 and that comprises of both bioattributed and mechanically recycled products. Then finally, number three, product safety. We will achieve all of these sustainability targets with 100% 
guarantee on regulatory compliance. With this, we believe we will set the way forward for the Styrenix industry. Now I will hand over to Oliver, who will explain the Telluron White portfolio and concepts. Thank you, Gabriela, and welcome also from my side to the audience. Our Telluron portfolio includes a wide range of different options. On the one hand, we have grades for injection molding, on the other hand, also for the extrusion market. In addition, in recent years, we also have developed our Telluron Eco grades based on the mechanical recycling of post consumer ABS. If you are interested in more information on this specific topic, I would like to refer you to our Telluron Eco webinar from last year, which is still available online at any time. We will provide you with the respective link at the end of this webinar. Telluran is fundamentally characterized by its high dimensional stability and heat resistance. It combines a first class surface quality with high chemical resistance and can also be processed in a 2K process with soft components. Today, however, we would like to focus on Telluran GP35 White, which you will find in the field of high flow injection molding grains. <coughs> Telluran White does not correspond to an exact RAL color like our standard black grades as well, but it is similar to RAL 9016. It has a high flowability at balanced impact. We will explain what advantages Telluran White means for you on the coming slides. The concept of Telluran White is rather simple yet compelling. Telluran White is manufactured in EMEA using primary compounding with dedicated equipment. This ensures maximum color consistency and purity of the product at optimized cost. As a customer, you can fine tune the material according to your special wishes using either liquid or conventional solid master batch. The result is your desired product. Telluron White has been developed to meet the requirements of the most demanding markets. The best performance is achieved when using liquid master batch for self-coloring. It is designed for light colors like all whites, light grays, and pastel tones. On top of that, a density advantage of up to 3% versus pre-colored materials can be achieved. It reduces your coloring costs because less master batch is needed. It is close to RAL 9016, as said before, and can be used as such or fine-tuned to your needs. And it contains a basic UV package. All in all, it is developed to cut costs for the white appliance market. Telluran GP35 White shares the formulation and key properties with GP35 Natural. But talking about UV performance, the grade contains additionally titanium dioxide and a UV stabilizer package. Telluran GP35 White contains solely titanium dioxide as a pigment. The pigmentation and UV stabilization is sufficient for most applications using white ABS, for example, in household applications like washing machines, refrigerators, or kitchen appliances. According to the ISO 4892 2B UV test, the material performs after 1000 hours of irradiation with a delta E of lower than one. Of course, UV stabilization can be improved by the further addition of stabilizers. Last but not least, customers can realize specific color matches by master batch addition, either by solid or liquid master batch dosing in self-coloring. The latter offers the best cost advantage. And now I would like to hand over to my colleague Bodo Weikert, who will focus on the liquid master batch dosing in more detail. Thank you, Oliver, and welcome to all. We recommend a dosing system developed by OPM Mechatronics because it enables a clean and precise dosing process and a simple operation for liquid colors and plastic processing. Only three parameters are required to start the processing. The shot weight, the recommended dosage, and the percentage and the density of color are needed. A calibration is not necessary. The dosing system has a high flexibility, independence of color suppliers, and can be used on all injection molding machines. The OPM dosing system is an absolute clean liquid coloring dosing system. 
the picture shows how it looks and what is needed on an injection molding machine to connect the OPM dosing system. Every injection molding machine needs only one flange to connect the system. The flange is assembled under a granule hopper. You can see it on the picture right upper side. The dosing system has a high standard of work safety due to the fact that the entire handling takes place on the floor. The self-coloring of Teleron white with liquid color means an unbeatable low dosage for liquid color to reach every white shade, a stable color consistency with a clean liquid coloring process today, and no dust formation and no filters needed in the process of self-coloring. And now I would like to hand over to Gabriela again for the commercial benefits of Teleron White. Thank you, Bodo. If we take a look at the economics, we see several commercial benefits versus a natural ABS with 5% solid master batch. Taking into account the market prices of various master batches and polymers, there is a cost benefit to our Teleron White solution where the solid or liquid master batch is used. This is a result of the lower master batch dosing required. Using Teleron White with liquid results in a 4% saving, whereas using Teleron White with a solid master batch results in only a 1% saving. Additionally, there is a significant cost saving in transport, warehousing and handling costs associated. Further cost advantages can also be achieved by the reduced need for pigments and UV stabilizers, especially in the liquid master batch. If one would like to compare Teleron White solution versus a pre-colored ABS, we see a cost benefit resulting from the 3% density advantage. For example, an annual consumption of one ton of pre-colored ABS would translate to a consumption of only 970 tons of Teleron GP35 White. Beyond the commercial benefits are several technical benefits, which Bordeaux will now explain. Thank you, Gabriela. The main benefits of Teleron White are the high gloss surface, a high flowability, medium impact strength, combined with an excellent colorability and a very good UV stabilization, as well as a high surface quality. There is a wide range of already proven applications for Teleron White in our focus industry, household and electronics, but in healthcare as well. In the household industry, we have washing machines, dryer, fridges, paper dispensers. Further examples are heater thermostat, printers, housings, and housings for blood pressure devices. Oliver will now continue with the regulatory aspects. Thank you, Bodo. Of course, we provide all common regulatory documents for Teleron White. Here you see just a small selection alone, like technical and safety data sheets, but also reach ROS and substances of very high concern, SVHC. Worth to mention as well is our compliance with EU food content and US FDA regulation. You can find more details and further documents by visiting our website, following the QR code, or sending a request to our InfoPoint mail account. As mentioned in our introduction, sustainability is a core element of our corporate culture. And also Teleron White can support this aspect. Due to the fact that less material is needed for the final application, less logistics is needed, which saves nearly 150 gram CO2 equivalents per metric ton per kilometer shipped. Furthermore, by liquid master batch or our customers, can save drying energy because it is not needed. Ineos Dirolution provides highly efficient, state-of-the-art, mass-scale pro production processes, which are run more and more by renewable energy. You can find one specific example by following the shown QR code. And with our regional production and supply, we keep the shipment distances short. So why should our customers buy Teleron White? because it is very cost efficient. It is suitable for a wide range of white and light colored appliances. Our mass scale process serves a high lot to lot consistency. We can comply to very stringent regulations in this market segment. 
We offer short lead times due to our regional production. Liquid mass batch dosing offers a high process flexibility. We can offer technical support to our customers at their sites by our technical, update, technical account managers. And we can support sustainability by reducing the overall CO2 footprint. And now we want to give you the opportunity to have your questions answered, which you have entered either during the presentation or you can just press in and enter it now. So, um, and here we have one first question, which I would like to answer. So there's a question if we also produce a specific white for um, a dedicated customer need. Um, we have our standard white concept as we have also our standard black concept. So we would provide you with a um, ded dedicated white, which you then further can amend with um, master batch edition. Um, means if, if you have a special need, you can amend your color yourself in, in a final self coloring step. Um, and there is one question. That uh, Bodo, maybe you can answer this question. So um, there seems to be some concerns about um, the um, the, the, the case that um, in the past there were some problems with the cleanliness and, and, and leakages. Can you can you elaborate a little bit on that one, please? Yes, for sure. So that's why we in your solution recommend the OPM dosing system because it's a really clean liquid dosing system. And yes, we know that it was not in the past like we want, and that's why we yeah, recommend this system and not any mere and not anymore the, the older pumps, which was not that good in the market. Okay. Thank you. Um, there's also a question which I would like to answer about the drinking water declaration, um, if this is valid. Well, in terms of drinking water, you can um, we, uh, we are so supporting this by an NDA with the third party lab. So there we can assist um, also drinking water um, applications in that respect. We do not have um, upfront um, certifications on drinking water itself, but uh, it is possible and we will support always as well drinking water legislation and approaches. There is a Question, Bodo, maybe for you, if um, there is there are more details which can be shared with or about the OPM dosing system. Yes, there um, that can be shared uh, if you want to request that to us or directly to OPM. Just uh, go contact me or the info point, and they will forward it to me. Can answer that in detail. Okay, thank you. Um, more an organizational question, which I will answer if there is a copy available of this presentation. Well, this uh, webinar is um, recorded. Um, you can either get this, um, so you are always available um, to, to get the details of this session um, by having a look at the, at the recorded um, webinar itself. And another question is here, in which way could GP35 white be better than GP35 natural for self-coloring? Um, in that respect, it, it depends a bit on, on what kind of color you would like to achieve and then what kind of, of tone you, you are aiming for. Clearly, all light tones um, like whites and, and light grays, um, there we uh, clearly would say this is um, the best way to go with um, Teluran. A GP35 white. Of course, when you want to have dark colors like a dark gray or or even a black, then um, you would never start with a uh, with a white. Of course, um, nevertheless, both grades are nicely suitable for um, for the self coloring uh, concept um, as well. It just depends on uh, what kind of final tone you would like to you would like to achieve. But we are happy to discuss this in a one on one 
um, case and one one discussion with you um, maybe then in a in a special um, special session. Um, sort of not okay so there's a question a bit um, of, of a suitable icebreaker if uh, a customer is conservative um, and still uses solid master batch Bodo, can you somehow um, maybe have some words on how to convince the customers um, to switch from solid to liquid master batch yeah i can say a lot of words to that but in best case they give us the chance to showing that up in, in the process. Um, I can say it, the liquid coloring system, it's a, it's a green system. It has less handling. It is um, simple to, to, to use. But uh, on my point of view, it's always better to showing that up in a, in a real process. And we, we can do that anytime. Okay, thank you. Um, there's a question about the production site and um, if we plan to to source this material from um, from somewhere else, but uh, but our current um, production site. No, there are no plans to to change the production site. Uh, we produce it. Um, we produce this material in in our end website and our Teleron site, and uh, this material is supposed to. To stay there and be produced there and um, be shipped from from this location. Um, maybe one question which you could answer, Gabriela, um, about the different kinds of packaging we offer to the market. Yeah, sure, Ali. So we have a, a versatile range of packaging that's possible, um, mainly bulk and and bags, but in specific cases we can also supply um, big bags. Okay, and uh, Bodo, one question for you about the dosing equipment again, um, if this is suitable for pigments only or also for other additives? No, this, this uh, dosing equipment is also suitable for additives in any liquid uh, form, even uh, UV stabilization, antistaticas or whatever. Okay. And there's a question, Bodo, maybe also for you. If the dose, so we um, we say a dosing between 0.3 to 0.6 percentage. Um, if we use more than that, if this will have an influence on the uh, op opacity of the material, if it's becoming more more opaque. No because this 0.3 to 0.6 is just um, a tuning of the Teleron white to achieve your, your white color or your grayish color, light grayish color. Okay, thank you. Okay, there's a question about translation, um, about ex, um, injection molding and extrusion. Injection molding means spritzguss, extrusion means extrusion. So it, um, it, it's a question either whether in the injection molding um, process you um, push your material into a cavity and with extrusion you are simply opening a valve and have um, a profile which you are then extruding. So the injection molding process is a discontinuous um, process while extrusion is a continuous process. I hope this is answering your question properly. Um, then also a question about our partners we have, if we have dedicated master batch producers. Yes, so we are um, uh, we are working together with the um, with our dedicated partners. We have um, both for uh, for our master batch for the coloring of um, Teleron white as well as the liquid master batch producer. So uh, we can also uh, get in contact with you on, on this one on one if you would like to have more information on on these ones. Um, I 
Okay, so I think based on the question presentation. So, um, Yeah, so, uh, okay, all oh, right, yeah, so I, I missed this one about the RAL tone. Um, it, it, it's um, most probably between the 9010 and 9016, so uh, the, the basic white tone is not matched to a specific color, but um, it, it, near that, so we have not changed the color in, in itself. Um, maybe there was just a, a different information um, in, in the past. The RAL is, is in, the, in the vicinity of 1916 or 1910 as well. Yeah. OK. Unless there are no more questions from, from your side. Uh, I think then we um, have answered all the questions uh, for now and we will close the session here. But anyways, please feel free to contact us in case of further information um, and how you can do that. So there are multiple options for that. Either contact your key account manager, write a mail to our info point, give us a call or visit our homepage for more information. And having that said, we would like to thank you all for participating to today's webinar hosted by Ineos Revolution. We hope that we were able to give you a comprehensive overview on Teluan GP35 White and its possibilities. So have a nice day, see you soon and goodbye. Driving success together.